Welcome Gotta to, get to the, the workshop. workshop. And uh, we said we'd be back for Godzilla vs. Kong. And here we are. It's about time. Well, five years. Six, yeah. really. Yeah. Till we saw this damn movie. Damn. Um, I wanted you to see this with me. Yeah, but um, you know, or due to circumstances, yeah. we couldn't. But we still, we still got to see it separately, and we still. Well, well, first of all, what you think? I thought it was really great. Uh, I was happy. There was a lot of monster scenes. Yes, it was very clear. Was... Well, not a lot of monster scenes, but like just seeing Godzilla and Kong. Yeah, go at it. Just go at it, and. It... Uh, it was just like it was just watching, like it, it was just like watching a guy fulfill his dream on the yeah, screen. Yeah, uh, pretty much. I mean, uh, I mean, what would you expect from a movie called Godzilla vs. Kong? Uh, I mean, you're not looking for the meaning of life here. I mean, you, you're just you know what to showdown. expect here. Yeah. Um, this movie was like on hold for like a long time. It was delayed, you know, it because was like... the last one didn't do too well. Well, it was that with King of the Monsters. It, it was delayed because of that, but mm. because of COVID, you know, this movie was pushed back another year. Right. We had to wait another year to see this. When this movie was uh, announced, it was back in 2015. You know, 2020 is when this movie was going to come out. But because of obvious reasons... They push it back to this year. No, we had it, and and it was a lot of fun. And I think it was worth the wait. Yes, yes, yeah. I mean, I I think with the wait, I think they actually did like some changes with the movie. Mm -hmm. it, it clearly shows, man, because like the humans in this film, who cares about them? Like they didn't really like the the whole movie's not a, based around them, right? You know, your main character in this movie is Kong. Yeah. Like, he's your main character. Mm -hmm. Makes sense because, you know, um, this is the only second film with Kong. But right, if you think about it, have... if you think about it with every Godzilla movie in the Monsterverse, legendary Monsterverse, none of them have really involved Godzilla. <laughs> like, it's always about, like, the other monsters or the humans. Like, with King of, King of the Monsters... It, it involved the family. Mm -hmm. I was like, man, I like I don't care about the family. <laughs> I don't care about Millie Bobby Brown and right. what she's going Which through. Which this one corrected a lot too. There weren't many uh, interactions with, with the humans. With the humans, yeah. Uh, it has the human characters in it, right? Because you gotta I, you gotta get the monsters together somehow. Yeah. And like the the people of Apex, you know, like uh, you were fine. Mm. The the three main people with Godzilla, you know, like the mini Bobby Brown, the the guy who was like the the podcast uh, conspiracy theorist conspiracy guy, theory, like yeah. I, I did not like it at all. Mm -hmm. I just like, yeah, like they, they just, want it was too over the top. Well, they they want a little bit of humor in it, yeah. but why? Why why do you need that in this? You know, it, what's funny about this film is, you know, like. I compare this movie to, like, the first Godzilla film, mm -hmm. 2014, Godzilla, with Brian Cranston. That movie was, like, very seriously. Like, it took it... It was it, it took taken it very seriously. seriously. You know, modern-day web bits and all that. Mm -hmm. and you see this film, it's, like, high-tech, sci-fi weaponry. Oh, like, like yeah. yeah, it's like, man, it, it goes from this to this. Yeah. In a heart, like, in a heartbeat, like, it's like... Oh my god, uh, I guess mm -hmm. I'll take it. Right. When it comes to like a uh, American Godzilla film, this it, it does it very well compared to like the Japanese Godzilla. Films. Right, right. Tell you're, you're not spending the majority of the film in uh, political offices <laughs> trying to figure out what to do. What, what to do with Godzilla and right. like this situation? They just go for it. They yeah, said, exactly. "Fuck it!" Like, yeah. Uh. Of course, one of the things I'm very happy about is uh, that there is a clear, decisive winner. Yes, there is. There is a winner. Uh, There's no, like, uh, 
tie because the third member has to come in and break up the fight. Uh, right, and right. Be the main. There, there was a winner, members. but like it, it was, which still happens, but uh -huh. but of course, before that happens, there is a winner between them. Yes, there and is. I'm, I'm very happy about that. Oh man, there's one clear winner. Mm -hmm. Spoilers. This is a spoilers review. It's Godzilla. It's Godzilla. Godzilla <laughs> kicks King Kong's ass like no Separates other. Separates his Man, those fights between the two was just fun as hell to see. Mm -hmm. This is why you see this movie, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. You know, oh, oh, I mean, that's why you see this. Yeah, exactly. What were you expecting? The meaning of life? Like, no. were you expecting Citizen Kane no, here? I'm expecting one monster to punch the other exactly. in the face. <laughs> exactly. And that's what you see here. In this tale, I want to see Godzilla whip somebody with a tail. <laughs> And you see this. You, you see all that in this mm -hmm. film. It's fun. It's a lot of fun. Um, there's really not much to, like, really talk about in this review. We just wanted to, like, just bring it up with you. You know? You know what to expect from a movie called Godzilla vs. Kong. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we just thought we should just do this review real fast. And? And? I mean, would you recommend? Of course I would recommend. Oh, yes. I highly recommend. And of course, you know, it took forever for us to get it, but it, it was well worth the wait. It was worth the wait. Yeah. It was. So, I had a lot of fun. If you have a chance to see this, see this in the theater. See it in the can. theater, and if you can't, then of course, if you have HBO Max. Because one of the best, the one thing we don't really talk about in our reviews is the sound. Mm-hmm. And if you oh, saw this in the theater, say, yeah. like you did not see this I was in the about theater. To say, yeah, we we didn't talk about that because he saw it in the theater. I had to see it on HBO Max. On HBO Max. And, and like the and the sound it makes such sound a big difference. From my TV is fine, but a like, theater experience is so much better. I'm pretty sure that was fantastic. So uh, see it in the theater if you can. The next review is going to be Mortal Kombat, which is not going to be far away. Mm -hmm. it comes out on the 15th of April. And I'm I'm pretty excited to see. I'm probably gonna see that movie on HBO Max. I'm probably, I'm not gonna see that in the theater. No, no, no. But uh, until then, until then, we're gonna see that in the theater. No, no, no. But until then, the workshop is closed. Take it easy, everybody. Bye. Bye.